So obviously, when we are introduced to open intelligence, when we are introduced to our, the potency of our own intelligence, it takes time to get used to it, a gradual process for most of us to understand that really life is effortless, that the effort and the thinking about concepts and ideas and identity and all of this kind of trying to achieve something special out of life is really not what we need to focus on. If we stop thinking for a moment, what remains? Clear, alert, bright, openness, this is open intelligence. And this is the introduction to our own intelligence. It's not like something that came out there and we need to achieve. It's our own intelligence, what allows us to hear, listen, think, emote. This is open intelligence. So in the introduction to open intelligence, we simply say, oh, oh interesting, hello. Nice to meet you. I ignored you for 20 years, 50 years, whatever years. Now, oh, interesting. I don't know. Okay. Okay. And then uh, we hear in the Balance You training that if we take short moments of simply and instinctively recognizing this open intelligence, intelligence then we, the, the obviousness of it becomes more and more clear in our everyday life. So... Short moments of open intelligence is the key, it's a key and it's a gift. It's the best gift you can give to yourself, to your mother, to your father, to everyone. The gift of allowing yourself to be exactly as you are for short moments repeated many times. Not long and contrived moments where you try to achieve a special state that you think is open intelligence, but short moments of cutting the root of the current description and simply allowing it to be as it is. Right now you're thinking all kinds of things. Oh, I forgot to buy flowers. I lied before, you know. Uh, oh, you know, oh, anxiety. I hope I won't be sick. You know, all these kind of things. What is he talking about? Funny accent. You know, allow it to be as it is. No effort is required to, to see how the thoughts, they self-release themselves, like a line or design drawn in space. Nothing remains, right? Ooh. Where was it? Okay. And then the next thought appear, the next emotion. We can choose and dedicate our entire life energy to focus on these and describe them, the thoughts, emotions, and sensations. And the, we call them in Balance Year, we call these data, data streams, that appear and resolve naturally without any effort. So when you think about the thought you had a second ago, where is it now? And something else is coming up. And then to try and focus on this, you know, really trying hard to get rid of the anxiety, for example, or to get rid of the fear and paranoia, this just leads to more and more data streams and more and more confusion. But if in the midst of fear, anxiety, confusion, you allow it to be as it is, even if it's new, unfamiliar, then you see that naturally it self-releases itself. And what we find is that inseparable from the data stream, whatever is the, the label, there is complete relaxation. There's complete stability and clear seeing to know what to do and how to act in all situations. It sounds fi science fiction to most people to know that we are al already innately stable and clear and bright. It's like almost outrageous that you want to punch someone in the face when they state it. Because psychology doesn't say it, you know, and maybe the, the spiritual institutions and religious institutions and political institutions and the economical institutions, they don't state that people are so brilliant and we can cooperate together in such a powerful way. So when we hear it, all kinds of things can come up. Oh. What are they talking about? And I, I hope they're not referring to me. It's kind of a big responsibility to be completely perfect exactly as I am. So <laughs> these were some of my initial um, data streams when I met the training. But just the repetition, 
you know, the complete confirmation and then having the courage to test it in our own experience, we start to shine. We shine exactly as we are, not because we deleted some of our thoughts, emotions and sensations, manipulated them to nicer description, you know, these methods that you, 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 say, you pay someone or you participate in something that says, and you share, I have anxiety, I have panic attacks in front, when I speak in front of 38 people. Every time I speak in front of 38 people, I have panic attacks. <laughs> everything, the sensations, the dryness, everything. And then you pay someone or you talk with someone who say, oh, you know, well, I feel sorry for you. I, I think you need to think happy thoughts, like uh, Peter Pan kind of style, and, and then everything will be peachy and rosy, right? You know, you, you'll be confident, you'll have the right thoughts, you'll, be, you'll nail it, and everyone will love you. And you try it once, you try it twice, and then you see, mm -mm, the anxiety is still there. Same with fear and paranoia. I'm just sharing a few of my favorite ones. So, and then in, in the context of the Four Mainstays, which is the support of balanced view, um, the short moments of open intelligence, the training itself, in all kinds of uh, means and the trainer and the community of people. When you state something like this, you see immediately a whole room of people smiling. Ah, he's anxious. She's anxious. <laughs> ah, I feel so connected to them. <laughs> Plus, I know that by allowing it to be as it is, there's no issue there. Even the thinking about problems, what's the problem with that, you see? You can make problem out of anything. Great, a great skill of yours. <laughs> and by allowing it to be as it is, you'll see how it opens up to seeing solutions, to clear seeing what are the solutions that we can provide right now. The Balanced View training is not focused on fixing damaged people, correcting identities that are flawed, it's focused on recognizing, allowing people to recognize and giving the safe comfort of recognizing that we are perfect and we have so much to contribute to the benefit of all. So much. All of the self-focus that was going to about dedicating a whole lifetime to trying to find better descriptions about yourself and the world now is released to really be of tremendous benefit to the world because it's a lot of energy to try to fix something that never needed to be fixed. <coughs> like you buy a new computer, for example, and it works well, and you're like, and then out of habit, you kind of look and look what's the problem, what needs to be fixed. It's already perfect. <laughs> Everything is operating, it upgrades itself. Our mind is so pristine, there's a constant upgrade in every moment. Short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, they become continuous. This is my experience and this is the experience of many people in Balanced View. Comparing to the stability I feel right now, regardless of my descriptions, the connection I have with my parents, my lovely parents. Before I used to blame my parents for everything. Everything means all my negative thoughts. I didn't blame them for my positive thoughts. <laughs> So, yeah, my parents. No, I didn't take responsibility. Why? Because I read in some random books that, you know, the complexity of my neurons and the DNA and the blood and the cells and the da da da. It's my parents. <laughs> I'm free of blame. <laughs> so, if you look someone to blame, it's not me. This is not a nice way to relate to anyone. <laughs> not, not, and not to ourselves and not to our parents. So, when I started to participate in the Four Mainstays, and I, I have to admit, in the beginning it wasn't super easy, because it was so new and radical that I, I really wanted to test it out, and then taking it one moment at a time was very helpful. I didn't make a, you know, a massive shift in my life right away. It was really just seeing, wow, my everyday life is inseparable from open intelligence. All of my thoughts, emotions, and sensations, they are not an issue. How amazing it is to live a life where the focus is not so much about the content of my random display. Think about all the moments you sat there in the dark room with a candle and, I don't know, Kenny G in the background. <laughs> <laughs> my mom loves Kenny G, that's why I mentioned. And, and 
And then you thought, wow, I wish it was different. I really wish, I wish, I really wish someone would understand me. I wish I wasn't so isolated in myself. I wish, yeah, just life, why it's so gloomy and, you know. We all have these moments. And then when you come to the Balanced View Training, that's when all the wishes come true. <laughs> Again, <coughs> just with the, the power of your own mind, taking a short moment, allowing everything to be as it is, you see there is a constant empowerment, direct empowerment of our strengths, gifts and talents, of our passions to contribute and want to be of benefit to the world. This is how we open up completely in terms of cooperation and the ability to live with other people, even people who have different opinions than ours, that have different data streams than ours. You know, my, my friendship groups before were people who were vegetarian, left-wing, spiritual, you know, this is limited. Like, <laughs> I couldn't have so many friends. It was so limited. Now I can relate to anyone open-heartedly and without any contrivance. It's not about matching ideas anymore. I don't know, what, what do people want, you know? What, what, what do we want for ourselves? And this is really provided in, in the context of the Four Mainstays. So anxiety, great. You are a human being, you'll feel anxiety from time to time. It's not about getting rid of the anxiety, it's about allowing it to be as it is. And also with people, there was a question there about um, changing other people so they will not focus on problems. I tried that. It's not so effective. I, I became good in making teas, but, um, <laughs> you know, allow them to be as they are, confused, worried, anxious, just by your own example. And that's what we do in the Four Mainstays. By our own direct example of someone who is totally rooted in open intelligence, stable, free of all descriptions, then immediately you are, you are of great support to the other people. I had amazing conversations with people who were really in the focusing on data streams, and I simply listened. It happened a lot, and suddenly it was like, what the hell am I talking about? <laughs> like the person themselves said, like, oh, look at me, I'm complaining for the last 20 minutes and you just listen. And I said, yeah, you don't have to do it, you know? Like, you know, very simple, very direct in your own, <laughs> own unique way of relating. So give, give people the space that they were not allowed before to be exactly as they are. We were denied from this most basic human right to be exactly as we are. Is there something more oppressive, more depressive than that? <coughs> Not allowing yourself to shine exactly as you are? I mean, and we choose that. No, and it's not some, someone else choosing it for us. And in Balanced View, we also keep it simple. You know, we, we name the problem. People are focusing on thoughts, emotions, and sensations as though it, they have an independent nature. And we provide a solution the Four Mainstays lifestyle. So that keeps all problems really simple. Simply by, and that's where the, the word instinctive, instinctive recognition is so powerful because it doesn't require any thinking. Instinctively we know that all of our experiences are inseparable from open intelligence. Then the who recognizes who and why and all of these questions, stop, stop thinking for a moment. See what remains. This bright alertness, open intelligence remains and come back to the simplicity. Now I know it might sound harsh or like there's no real explanation of things, but in your direct experience you will know. And this is what you want to empower, not, not to empower more ideas about reality and more comparison to other ideas, you know, just your own direct experience. What will support you right now? A short moment of instinctive recognition. I know I love short moments. Short moments. Like now I can take a short moment. Ah, oh, nice. Because <laughs> such questions, you know, sometimes I might think, oh, wow, how can I answer something so philosophical and grand? Ah, short moment. So easy. <laughs> so easy. Test it in your own experience. Is it complicated to live life? Is it complicated to think, to emote? Is it complicated? No. The answer is 
a massive no. <laughs> There's great simplicity in every moment and, and the understanding comes from this instinctive recognition.